Hi everyone, I'm Amy with Booktubing Amy and today I have a different kind of video. I'm going to call it the booktuber problem or the book lover problem or I've got a problem. <laughs> Okay, so uh, recently, as I released on social media, I got approved for an arc of Sweet Ruin by Cressley Cole, and I am uber excited for this book because Cressley Cole, enough said, and I am so excited to read this, but when I got this, I realized I have a little bit of apprehension about reading this book because I have a problem. This is where you would come in and say, I have this problem too, it made me feel so much better. So I realized I was a book behind of this book. So whenever it came out, I still had to read the book before this before I could start this book. I did, I finished, it was great, continuing on. So I realized when I came to this realization how far behind I am on a lot of my series because this book kind of was like an eye opener because I loved Wesley Cole and I cannot wait to read this book. I'm already five chapters in, it's really good, but there's a lot of books like that. So I actually compiled a list of books and I will tell you the reason why I have yet to start on the next book. So the first book I have is Over Time by Tony Leo and I'm hesitant to read this book because of the fact that I'm going to have to wait an extended period of time for the next one to come out. Or it's already out and I missed it on my Kindle. So either way, extended period of time. The next one, and I think I am so ashamed that I'm actually two books behind on this one, is J.R. Ward's The da Black Dagger Brotherhood series. Now, as you know, Rage is my favorite character ever written, ever. And J.R. Ward wrote my favorite book ever. But at the same time, don't know if you know this, but The Beast, the, one, the next book J.R. Ward is publishing coming out in May or March. I cannot remember one. I remember it starts with an M, though. So... Uh, it's about rage, and I am so, 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 so excited about that. And, fun fact, you can get a signed copy if you go on February to her website. She's doing a virtual signing. Anyway, tangent. Back to the straight now. I do not want to read the next two books in the series because of the fact that I will have to wait till May or March for the next book to come out. And I am, I know everybody's like, oh my gosh, she's a great, I can't, I can't wait to read, I'm ready for the next one. And I'm like... Oh my gosh, I'm two books behind. Don't spoil me, please. So I was just like, this is a problem. I've noticed this is a big problem because I'm so excited to read these books. I have them on my Kindle. There's no excuse not to read them, but I am hesitant to read them because of the fact that I would have to wait till May or March for the next book in the series. Please tell me in the comments you have the same problem. I'd really appreciate it. The next two books are books that I am don't even want to start because of the fact that there's no book after it. Well, okay, so the books are A Court of Throne and Roses by Sarah J. Moss and The Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Now, A Court of Throne and Roses, I know there's a second book coming out and I'm super excited about that, but I have to wait. It's not even, they have it out, the title out, but it's, well, I don't think they have a the title out. They have the fact that it's going to be released, but they don't have a title, they don't have a picture, that means it's going to be a while. So, <laughs> I don't even want to start it and go like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest book since ever, and find out, oh my gosh, have to wait another two years. Uh, uh, that's a problem for me. So, yeah, that's one problem. The second one is Rainbow Isles Fangirl. Now, this was big... I think it was big like four years ago. <laughs> I'm really slow on keeping up, but uh, I was super excited to read this because it's about fangirl. Uh, so, but I'm afraid that what if I love it? Like, what if I really love it and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to read the next book. There's no next book. Um, what now? So, yes, I have a slight problem with that. <laughs> Now the next two books are, I'm going to call the creme de la creme of trouble because they are the last book in the series and when I read this there will be no more of that series. My, one of my, some of my favorite series and I know I will not get another book in that series. Now they may write something else but no more of my favorite characters from that series. 
and they are of Silk and Steam by Beck McAllister. She is from Australia. Good day, mate. I don't know why I have felt the need to do that. But her books, I remember picking it up and I was like, oh, well, you know, might as well read it. And then I read it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. And so I read it and I read it and I read it and I read it and I read so fast. I caught up to, actually I caught up to one before the last one and then the last one came out and I was like, well, what? This is so mean. So now I have to, uh, I have yet to read the last book in the series because it's the last book in the series. And I don't know if she's, she's she teases us like she's going to write something else or like a spinoff. But it, there's not one on Goodreads and I haven't seen one on her website. And I'm just, I want to read it. I do. I want to read it so bad. But it's the last book in the series. <laughs> so I'm just like. I just can't. I just can't. It's just... Tell me in the comments if you have the same problem. And the last book is The Reverent. I think I hope I'm saying this right. By Larissa Ion. You know Larissa Arissa Ion. Gosh. I should, I mean her have troubles with names. Uh, I'll leave a little comment, uh, uh, link to our last interview I did with her a little while ago. But we made a joke about me having trouble saying all of her characters' names because they're not all Bob Smith or names like Reverend. And I don't know why, but I have trouble saying it. <laughs> so, anyway. But I'm, I'm so excited to read the last book in the series. But once again, it's the last book in the series. There's not going to be another one ever. I know, and I know she's writing another spinoff series, which I love her spinoff. That's not a spinoff. Completely different series. And honestly, I think I love the other series more than I love this series. However, this series is so amazing. This one is amazing and some. I don't know why. I just love this series a whole lot. So much. Oh my gosh, I love this series. But this series is a good series and I need to finish it so I can be like, yes, I have finished a series. That is the reason I have not finished many series is the fact that I will have to not have to read another book. And I, I do not like to reread books. I think that's the major problem is the fact that I want to read the book like it's fresh. I love picking up a book, picking up my Athena. Uh, I love picking up a book and going, Oh, what's gonna happen next? Oh, what's gonna happen next? Other than, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, look, there it happened. I mean, just, I don't know. It's just weird, but yes. And so, with that being said, I am super excited and nervous to read Sweet Ruin by Cressley Cole because of the fact that it's a last book for a while. And I know, I text, I texted her, I, uh, I Twittered her, Twitter, tweeted, tweeted, tweeted. I tweeted her, that sounds so weird, uh, it, about Nyx. If you know Nyx, I know she's in at least more than half of the books. I think she's in all the books, now that I think about it. And I was like, is Nyx ever going to get a story? And she said, yes, Nyx will get a story, but it's probably going to be the last one. Or it is the last one, I'm not really sure. That was a long time ago that I remember. And as far as I know, this book is not about Nyx, so I'm okay with the fact that I know this probably isn't the last one, and I'm super excited to read this, but that being said, this is the last book I will re-get from her for a year. And I love her books, and this is a problem. So I'm so excited to read this book, though. Look at the cover! It's so pretty! I have, I was a little upset over the fact that they did a cover change. But at the same time, look how pretty! <laughs> it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. I love it so much. It's so pretty. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm in five books, five books in. Wow. Five char <laughs> chapters. I'm five chapters in and loving it so much. I, I just, I just can't even. It's just, I'm gonna have to wait a long time. Fun fact, I'm going to see her in next year. I don't know which month it is. I have it on my calendar though. I'm going to see her next year in Austin. I'm also going to visit one of my friends down there. So yay. Anyway, I'm super excited to meet her and get it signed. That's why I bought the hardback instead of just the Kindle version. Also, I got an arc of it. So yay, as you saw on my Twitter. Anyway, so I'm super excited to read this. Have you read this book? If you have, don't you dare spoil me. Just don't. Just, just don't. Also, if you've read any of the other books, don't spoil me. Please don't. To be fair, even if you did, don't. 
But even if you did, I would probably forget about it because my mind is not always... I forgot the character... The, the, I just finished the, sec the, the book for this yesterday. And I cannot for the life of me remember the guy's name of the main character. I know it starts with a T. I think it's Thanos. I think. It's one of those, like, I cannot remember characters' names. It's like regular names. Only I can't remember. And because even if it's like an awesome book... I can't remember names. Like my favorite book in her series, oh gosh, what is it? Oh, I cannot remember. This one. Yeah, Dark Desires After Dusk. I can't remember the name of this one either. When I, when I went up to it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the favorite book uh, I've ever, this is like my second favorite book ever written, ever, ever. She's like, what is it called? And I was like, can't remember. To be fair, a lot of her series in the first were Dark Desires, Dark Meh, dark. Okay, I'm getting kind of embarrassed now the fact that they're not, but you know what I'm talking about. Wicked Deeds on a Night Dead, Dark Needs on a Night Dead, Dark Desires After Dust. They all have the word dark in it. So, yes. Anyway, besides this point, super excited to read this. If you have the same problem of wanting to read the next book in the series and last series or the first book, whatever, comment below. I love reading comments and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you next week for a book haul. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And as always, go find some reader. See ya!